Alright, what's up everybody? Trickler here with the brain episode for you guys and you guys only. Today we are playing some I mean shit. Today I'm doing a commentary. Uh uh, this is probably gonna be easier for me to upload now that it's way easier to edit the shit. So uh yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna basically just give you guys a story. I don't know whether it's gonna be long or not, but I'm just tell it straight up like how I saw it. Um a pretty messed up story uh basically it was the first time i got lost like really got fucking lost it was back in elementary school so i'm just going to give you guys a story you know what i'm saying oh shit somebody hit me up on snapchat hold up all right so that's what i was saying so it was back at elementary school the school that i was at was called westline elementary i probably should never say that name but you know forget it you know what i'm saying um but i used to go there i I think it was like my first grade year or something i know it was in kindergarten or pre-k so it was it was pretty bad when i got lost everybody was looking for me but back to the story so basically um it was at the end of the day it was at the end of school i was in class um uh, and i was just minding my business you know the bell was about to ring for all the children and shit to come out and uh you know i was ready to leave but see at my school they called the walkers first so everybody who walked home, they would go, they would leave first, and then they'll call the car riders and the bus riders and all that shit. But see, the thing was, I was a car driver. I mean, I, fuck, I was a car rider, and uh, yeah. So basically, my teacher name Miss Dinkins. She was really, I don't know what, what the hell was wrong with her that day, but uh, she was tripping. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting there in class, minding my business, and I had, I, I think I was drawing or some shit. And when I was drawing, I messed up on my paper and I crumbled the paper up and I was getting ready to throw it in the trash. So I had my book bag on and shit. I was running over to the trash can. Boom! The bell rings. All the walkers. They was like. All the walkers, uh, please leave the building now, please. And you know, I'm sitting there like, oh shit, okay. I'm not a walker, but I'm just throw this in the trash. So the trash can is right by the door. So if I'm walking with the walkers towards the door, but I'm finna throw some shit in the trash and I got my book bag on, I want to blame the teacher for thinking that I was a fucking walker. So basically... Ms. Dinkins, while I'm walking towards her, she's standing by the door. She's dismissing all of the students and shit. I'm walking over towards her. I'm getting ready to throw the paper in the trash can. I wasn't that much of a talker neither. I wasn't no badass kid, but, you know, I just, I barely talked. I was talked unless I was talk, 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 talking to talk. I, I spoke unless I was, you're going to say I was talking. I didn't speak until somebody said some shit to me. So basically, I'm walking towards the door. Miss Dinkins, she immediately pushes me out of the door. I don't know why I didn't tell her I'm not a walker. I'm a car. I'm a car rider. But I was just like, fuck it. I know how to get home. So you know, I got my book bag on. I threw the paper in the trash. You know, I'm like, okay. I mean, this might be a test from God Himself. You feel me? So I'm finna just go ahead and take this walk. You know what I'm saying? Take this W. I already know where my transportation is. I already know what's my address. I really don't. But I mean, hey, I can fucking wing it. I know it. Shit. Around here, it looks like my house. So therefore, I know how to walk to my house. So, you know, I, I'm walking out of the building. You know, I'm like, all right, I'm finna just go ahead and walk home. This shit finna be a breeze. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I walk out of the building. Ain't nobody paying me no attention because there's so many damn kids at the school. So, you know, I was kind of I was kind of overlooked. You know what I'm saying? You know, just a small little mistake. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm walking out of the building. You know, I'm walking. I'm walking home. You know, I'm thinking this shit finna be good. It's finna be all... It's, it's no static, you feel what I'm saying? It, it, like dead ass, it's no static. So, I'm thinking my house is like right around the block or some shit. What I didn't know, cause I never paid attention to when my mama was even taking me to school. What I didn't realize was that, first off, my house was nowhere around my school. It was literally nowhere around my school. So I don't know why the hell I thought that. To this day, I still don't know that. But, you know, I kept walking like nothing was wrong. So, you know, I'm walking and I'm remembering, like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the hell do you get from my school to the house. So, I'm walking. I just walked out of the school entrance. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, in this, I'm on the street that leads towards school. 
yeah so i'm walking this shit i'm walking straight down the street you know i'm like okay okay i understand this i understand what a go you know what i'm saying i'm finna just follow these kids until i figure out the road and then it's all good you know what i'm saying it's finna be a breeze so you know i'm walking this shit you know it's about it's about an hour later you know what i'm saying i'm still happy as shit i'm like hey bro when i get home i'm gonna tell my mom i walked home today not thinking that my mama is probably somewhere looking for my ass right now by the way i didn't i didn't mention this but in the beginning like overall i was five when this shit happened so you can understand the level of stress that my whole family was on like i i think that was damn near ready to pull out a uh a amber alert for my ass but uh back to the story you know what i'm saying so you know i'm walking and i turned the wrong street bro i ended up in some apartment complexes i didn't know shit about so i'm sitting there i'm like okay this is weird but i'm pretty sure i can get back on track and you know probably turn my ass around but little that i know i didn't pay no type of attention to where i was even walking i just thought i just kept walking straight ahead i didn't never look back to see where the hell i was coming from so now i'm just totally lost i don't know what street i'm on i don't know what where the hell type of apartments is these so you know you, you feel me i'm spooked right now you know what i'm saying i don't know what to do i'm panicking i'm heavy breathing and shit so now i'm sitting now i'm like ah oh, shit i'm lost you don't say jordan you don't say that your ass is lost just just you don't say your ass knew you was gonna get lost so i'm walking i'm like oh shit where the hell am i niggas gonna probably shoot my back in they probably gonna run me over with a scooter or some shit i'm panicking like a motherfucker i don't know what to do i'm down there about to cry but see i was such an emotionless kid to where i didn't even know what the hell was going on for real for real i was just like you know what i can still walk home it's no biggie you know what i'm saying it's no problem so um while i'm walking i just i just give up i'm just sitting there like yo what the fuck am i like i'm really lost my nigga like this is not even funny anymore <laughs> this is it's gotten to the point to where i don't know where the hell i'm at and i don't know how the hell i'm gonna get back to the school so at this time it's like six o'clock it's starting to get dark outside i'm starting to get paranoid like a motherfucker i'm like you know what i'm finna just call a little quick you know what i'm saying go hide in the bushes for the night maybe i can find my journey back home in the morning you know what i'm saying try to find my way back to the school and i'm walking and i'm still i'm still in like the apartment complex so i'm sitting there and uh i'm just i just keep walking i still don't know where the hell i'm going but i'm still walking so i'm walking past this man porch and all of a sudden it's just i don't know how the hell he looked but he's really he was really dark skinned and skinny and he had on a white t-shirt so i look over to the left i'm looking at him like bro can you like help me real quick because i might need a fix up because i'm finna get my ass whooped when i get back to the school i know that for a fact so the man looking at me i don't know what the hell told him to help me out but this man he was like hey uh you lost so i was like yeah i'm lost yeah so he was like what school would you go to i was like oh shit oh i'm finna get some help now y'all probably thinking i probably got kidnapped or some shit i i i didn't but back to the store so you know i'm sitting there i'm looking at him and i'm like uh i go to west line so then he like uh get in the car with me so i'm sitting there, i'm like shit if this the way back to school i'm finna get in the car with your ass i don't care where you taking me as long as you take me back to the school now mind you i ain't know this nigga at all i don't know this nigga name he to this day he never told me his name he never told me how old the man was he never even told me if he was truly a man or a lady i was just i just assumed he was a man because he looked at masculine so you know i get in this car i don't know it was i don't know what kind of car it was but that's irrelevant to the store but uh i got in this car he drove me back to the uh back to the school and uh i got to the school boy was it fucking hectic i come to the school first off nobody's at the school it's it's like for that school to be that big it was only like two cars in the fucking parking lot and one of them was my mom's so i walk inside the building the man he literally like he didn't take me in there with him he just dropped me off 
He was like, you be careful. And I was like, yes, sir. And I walked inside the building. The man took off. I don't know who this man was till this day. This shit gonna live for me for like forever, for forever. So I walked through the entrance with no guarding or nothing. I just walked through the entrance. And I see my mama getting ready to slap the shit out of the principal. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, shit. This ain't finna be good. So, my mama, she turned around. You know, she like, oh, my God. There goes my child. You know, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what the hell she really said. I just assumed it was that. Because at that moment, I was really confused about what the hell happened that day. So, basically, I didn't get my ass whooped. I'm really surprised I didn't get my ass whooped. But, uh, yeah, man found my way back home she took me back home and she was like don't ever do that shit ever again my nigga like dead ass so yeah that was the story about how i got lost and uh thank god the man didn't kidnap my ass you know he looked kind of cool but uh yeah thank god he didn't actually kidnap me i probably wouldn't even be here today if he did but uh yeah man that's that's basically what happened just wanted to tell that story out. I'm going to be doing this shit more often. Because this shit is amazing. I love telling stories. Woo! Nah, but seriously though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this story. It was just a little something something. You know what I'm saying? Something something, you know, put on a plate of my YouTube facility. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> I, that's all I have to say about this story. Uh, there's going to be more stories. I got some crazy shit that's been going on in my life. So, you know, it's going to be more stories. But uh, in the meantime, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, you know, commentary. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.